as most of you know, and people don't know, it's been a long, hard journey for me. A rough road and that. Um, looking back about five years ago, I never thought I'd be standing here you know, and getting baptised in that really. So, but the idea of it is for me to to get about, to put all the, wash all the uh, stuff, bad stuff away and walk into a new life with God. Um, and, and carry on doing this work for him as I'm doing at this moment in time. So I'm, I'm just going to briefly say what we're doing. Um, this is baptism. I, I asked Matt, you know, do you know what you're going to say? And he just said that, and I just thought, this is an explanation of baptism. That, that's, that's pretty much it, really. You know, yeah. there's lots of stories in the Bible where there's uh, waters involved in, uh, in coming from the old to the new. So you know the, the Noah story, and it, and it talks about the whole world being renewed, and it was a new creation. And then the Israelites, they came out of captivity, and they went through the water to freedom. And, and both those things are really symbols uh, of what's happening here today, and as we baptise Matt, I said I'm going to say this, Matt. I, I, don't, I, I prepared him because I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, okay. I, but this, this is no joke. We're saying that this is today is Matt's grave, and we're going to bury him. And everything that was old, all the the the, the stuff that he just said, and he could have gone into details, but he said I'm not going to go into details. And that's fine. All of that dies. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. The old man dies, Amen. and that would be okay, pretty drastic. But the good news is that we don't leave him in. <laughs> okay, and the good news is that through Jesus there is death and resurrection, Amen. and in Jesus there is new life, and eternal life starts from then onwards, Amen. if it hasn't already. Um, so, if you're all right with that, we'll carry on. Okay, good, yeah. <laughs> We're in the right place. We're in the right place. Uh, and I just want to give thanks to God for what he's done in, in Matt's life. I know there's so many different churches uh, represented here today, and it, like, there has been a journey of, of faith, uh, and we're just so grateful to God to be able to do this today. So I'm going to pray, and then we're going to get in the water, which is possibly the warmest place in the room. I'm afraid the heating broke this morning, so sorry. Keep your coats on. But let's pray. Father God, we just thank you that we are gathered to together this morning in your name. And we celebrate what you have done in Matt's life. And we rejoice now that the old is gone and the new is coming. And that as we go down into this water, Matt will die and come back to life in Jesus. And so we commit this moment to you now. Come Holy Spirit. Amen. So I'm going to get in the water with Matt and Joe's going to help me. Great t-shirt. Um, <laughs> if you want one of these to see Richard. Uh, Matt's been baptised. If, if people want to pray, I'm going to pray for him. But then if, if anybody else wants to pray, um, get going because it, we will get chilly after a while. Um, so don't be shy, as I'm saying. I'm not going to give some long pregnant pause while everyone can just get praying. I mean, and if you would pray all the same time, it doesn't matter. Um, let's go. Okay. So I'll get it first. Say what. So I'm going to ask Matt a couple of questions. Um, he's already declared faith, so I'm just going to say this. And then we're going to baptise him. So Matt, do you accept Jesus as your Lord and Saviour? Yes. And do you renounce all sin and evil that has gone before and want to walk in new life with him? Yes. Amen. Well, in that case, Amen. I'm going to baptise you, Matt, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.
So let's pray for Matt now. Father, I thank you for this moment. We rejoice and say, he who is in Christ is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. And I pray that Matt know that in power now. Come Holy Spirit and fill him and fill him and fill him. Continue to renew him inwardly day by day from this day forward that he would know your power and your presence in his life through Jesus. Amen. So Father, we clap and we praise and we, uh, we do this in glory to you because you are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords who brings about change in our lives. And we thank you for that, Father. Amen. Amen. Father, I thank you that Matt has found on his really difficult and challenging journey your people. And I thank you, Lord, that so many of your people have journeyed alongside Matt in the last few years and that he, through them, has found you. And I just praise you for that, Lord, and I just ask that your keeping, sustaining power will be in Matt's life and your blessing upon him. Just fill him and continue to fill him. With your Holy Spirit, I pray, Lord God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Matt, as I was uh, reading this Psalm 92 this morning and thinking about you, um, these words jumped out and I felt God's gotten for you. The righteous, and you are now righteous through the blood of Christ, the righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon, planted in the house of the Lord where you're having fellowship now with God's people. They will flourish, you will flourish in the courts of our God. You will still bear fruit in old age. You will stay fresh and green, proclaiming the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no wickedness in him. Lord, I pray that you'll bless your word to Matt, that he will flourish that he will bear fruit in the coming days to your glory. May he enjoy your love through these days. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. I just want to thank you, Father, that Matt has found a good foundation in all these people that have helped him all through these three churches. And that he, in his journey, Lord, he has found your people to sustain him and he's been sustained by you, and that your love has grown in his heart and cleansed him and freed him from all that has gone before. So his life now is a new in you, Lord. Amen. Amen. And that you also were included in Christ when you heard the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation. When you believed, you are marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit, who is the deposit guaranteeing your inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession, to the praise of his glory. Amen. So Matt, this promised Holy Spirit is upon you now. It's the presence of Jesus. Just as Jesus, when he was baptised, the dove came down and remained. The Holy Spirit remains on you now. His abiding presence goes with you. You are never alone. He is with you. And we love you, but it is nothing compared to the love of God for you, Matt. Nothing compared for his remaining, abiding, faithful love to you each day. Know that you are loved, that you are acceptable, that you are worthy to come into the kingdom, to come into the family of God. Amen. Amen.
Now, I've just had a picture of a blackboard uh, come to mind, and it's been wiped clean, which is exactly what has happened to you today. You've been wiped clean. You were wiped clean the moment you gave your life to Jesus. But more than that, this is a many board, and it's got today's special written at the top. And I really want God, uh, I just really think God wants you to know that that verse, taste and see that God is good, is one for you. And today's special, every day of your life, will be to taste and see that God is good. You have a special board that you can order from. You can go to him for anything, every day, every minute, if you you choose, and that you will taste and see that God is good. I just ask that you'll, you'll know that in your life, that you'll be blessed richly, that you'll be just joyful and fruitful because the Lord is in you. And we just thank him that he has spoken into your life and he has touched you and you've given your life to him. Thank you, Father, for what you've done through your son for Matt. In your name, amen. And Matt, I'm just going to follow on from what Nathan was saying because when Jesus was baptised, there's a voice. After the Spirit comes, there's a voice that says, This is my Son, whom I love, and I'm well pleased with it. And I want you to hear those words for yourself. That God says to you, You're my Son, and I love you, and I'm well pleased with you. Well pleased. Amen. Amen.